As is the norm at many functions, Uganda's celebrated midwife Esther Madudus starts with the nurses and midwives singing a nurses anthem. And as she crowns along with her face alight, her three-year-old son is holding onto her uniform, oblivious of the lyrics, meaning he seeks attention from a mother who sees more strangers than she does him. It is not long that this lady of the day slithers away from her child and walks with the entourage from the Minister of Health, led by the Minister, Dr. Christine Ondoa. In tow her mentors from African Medical and Research Foundation, AMREF, all here to honor her for her work that made her give up her child to her mother at just one year of age. Esther's child is just but getting only stolen moments with his mother, who is very busy taking the guests around this health center where she has made so much impact. Off to her mother, she drops him. He knows me as his mother. He doesn't call me now the, the nurse. Midwife for the 2012-2013 award. Well, the nurse brand is what has made her the day's center of attraction. She has done everything that a midwife does. We are here toiling day and night, working uh, under difficult uh, situations, seeing mothers, delivering mothers, and antenatal immunization, outreaches, and uh, treating mothers with the complications. And then finally, we offer family planning. A good job description which is done by most midwives at Teriri Health Centre 4, but not all are being celebrated like Esther. Mm. Are you by any chance envious or jealous of her? I'm not jealous of her. I'm up about her work. Is she doing something extreme that you're not doing? What is happening? Yes, our duty outside. Actually, it is stream because for us, we work within the health center, yeah. But for us, she goes out also to work, advocate for mothers. Such selflessness made her be chosen to spearhead the Stand Up for African Mothers campaign by AMREF. She is nominated to honor all midwife who's been working under difficult circumstances in very remote area like Soroti. We are very confident, and we speak this with a lot of confidence, that this campaign will have far-reaching effects for Africa and for midwives in general. Your vote could make her win the Nobel Peace Prize in 2015. But first things first, the Rio Award is now. All awaited real award has already finally been delivered to me at my workplace. So I'm really very glad. This is given to uh, health workers, frontline health workers who have been committed to work uh, at uh, community. This is a signal that uh, health workers in Uganda should know that we do recognize their excellent work. Her family, friends, workmates and employers at the district level are witnesses. I'm so happy for her. She has been very hard working. She has been standing up every day for mothers. We are so proud of her. <laughs> The Rio Awards was created by Save the Children and the Frontline Health Workers Coalition. Esther's has been given to her by AMREF in partnership with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. But people who do what she does are still needed. The Minister of Health and the Minister of Education have always concentrated on training enrolled comprehensive nurses. This has over time caused a shortage in midwives' numbers. Comprehensive nurses are very good in nursing, but they are not good at midwifery. For midwifery where mothers are delivered and uh, newborn are taken care of, we need people who have undergone through midwifery training. Uganda has a shortage of about 2,000 midwives, but this is being addressed. AMREF is training 15,000 midwives in numerous African countries, including Uganda, Kenya, South Sudan, Ethiopia and Tanzania. Oh, the Uganda Health System Strengthening Project under the Ministry of Health is training over 300 and Bela Uganda is to contribute too. Flores Salimba, NTV, Atiriri, Soroti District.